everyone welcome back to another counter side video so in this video we are going to be tackling gear enhancements what not to do and what to do before that if you wanted updated counter side videos please hit the subscribe button down below okay so for our first agenda for today so more or less you guys have been enhancing your gear so let's let's um pick a a mech or probably a unit so I'm, I'm choosing actually titan for this one for the demo so more or less i still have to enhance his gear for his accessories so i have still here and here but before you do your enhancements i would suggest that you do equip or try to if you're going to do the enhancement equip first what you need to equip with with the heroes or with the units that you have um, probably change out let's say for example if you want to upgrade this to t5 you either look for a a gear that you're going to swap it with then once you're probably satisfied with the gear that you're equipped so more or less again this lessens the mistake that you're going to use the gear that you are going to be needing so let's uh go to enhancement for this t4 by the way, I am actually um, recommending enhancements only for T4 and T5 and T6. For, for T3, um, I suggest you don't do enhancements because they're, they're, they're a bit low. For T4, I think it's okay because it's really hard to find the right type of gear and uh, especially for the gear sets. So um, before you, for example, hit auto select, I would suggest that you don't because once you hit this button, it actually just um, shoves in a couple of gears that you don't know what the stats are. So you might be using those um, those gear in the future and more or less click on the gear that you want to more or less um, sacrifice for the enhancement. Um, enhancement modules are actually good because they're not gears they're they're really made for you to to use and enhance so let's click on this one select but you still have nine slots left so what you do is when you choose a gear try to filter between n and r rarities okay so once you're filtered the n and r's they are usually the first to go especially on the lower tiers let's say you have your tier 4 the next tier that i have is going to be tier 5 so let's do a but more or less also take note that it really depends on what kind of t4 and r rarity are you going to going to um, sacrifice so let's add more filters let's do first soldier in mech so once you select soldier in mech, so if you're not prioritizing soldier in mechs, then you can go with them first. So more or less, then also check the the gear sets below. If you don't need them or you aren't going to use them, then you're free to sacrifice them for um, the selected gear. So for the enhancements, let's select this ones. So let's go with this. So more or less, I am here. So let's click enhance. So again, you just you just have to prioritize N's and R's and T4s. And depending if you're going to go with your counters, then let's leave the counters last. Again, filter between soldier and mech. Then go for it. Try to sacrifice ends first. Let's have this at level five until we're done let's filter again the enhancement module because i saw one so let's select this sorry enhancement module select because I'll, I'll lose it later so again i will be going through soldier in mech again for n and r sorry above 10 one two six seven eight and okay so i need a little bit more 
bed so um i don't have that much mechs and soldiers now so that is why i'm consuming them but in the future if i do have um teams to develop for mechs and soldier so more or less i'll be consuming counter gears already because most of the teams that i could be constructing are counter so i value more counters at this point again i just need one then we're at five uh, which are the gear sets that you don't need then probably have them or select them but for those uh, gear sets that are critical to you like for example attack speed pull down uh what else um those are sets that you really need to hang on critical damage can be you know can be okay but again these are sets that would require four to be activated so your critical damage pull down attack speed so these are again sets that you need to hold on to and more or less um do not uh, have them as fodder for your for your um enhancements so again also what what i'm saying is um if you're going to be farming gear more or less you need to expand your inventory so i currently have up to 600 because i spent uh, crystals for this one or sorry for quartz so um it's crucial if you want to cycle out a lot of gear you definitely need um a large inventory i think 600 is optimal 500 to 600 if you want to spend more crystals then it's actually 50 for a, for for a five slot so i usually expand this per 50 so at 50 slots it's 500 i know it's it's kind of a waste of quartz but again you need a lot of inventory because you'll be farming and you'll be filtering out what you don't need and sacrificing them for enhancement okay so where do we farm these bad boys so number one let's go to your operations and the first that has been recommended or i'm going to recommend is going to be on um uh, what they call this this is going to be free contract task three and you go with 3-3 so um this is actually a good way to farm gear because this also gives you appraisals um the problem with the uh, 3-3 for for this one it's going to take you a long time to farm so um just have to wait a little bit longer to farm this uh, because this is going to involve a lot of battle so that is the drawback when you're farming 3-3 but if you're willing to wait for farming so more or less this is a good way to farm but if you're going just to farm equipment and you don't want to wait that long in terms of farming in terms of autoplay you can actually go to the supply contract and military supply so this is where you farm this is actually just one battle that you can do uh, not several battles and this is a quicker way to farm your equipment except that this does not have um, appraisals so this is more or less purely for gear for gear development tier 5 uh, molds for weapon armor and accessory then you have here again you have uh, you'll be given one of each type so you have given one for counter one for mech and one for um soldiers then you have here your main reward which which are usually molds and that's it so again if you farm this if you want to concentrate on cycling out your gear this are the two areas where you can farm also let's go on into crafting for the crafting facility so you go to your hq then you go to your workshop then go to your crafting facility so more or less you could craft a lot of a lot of items here so let's try to do this so i have a lot of t5 because i've been farming for gear recently so as much as possible what you do you you still have to craft the lower end gears because you'll be using them for for you know you need to consume them for your enhancement so again you see lab t1 and t2 t2 here so more or less what i do is i 
I usually craft these ones the lower end but if you don't have this material the supply training gear material um, don't bother just keep on crafting um, here at T5 because I have a lot already and I have noticed that mostly uh, weapon molds are rare to get than your standard accessory mold so the rarest are are usually weapon then armor then accessory we, when it usually drops so let's craft weapon because I'm looking for a weapon let's fill this out and also what I did is I opened up everything so that I could craft things simultaneously so for accessory i'm going to craft this twice at max 10 then the last would be your armor at tier 5 I'm gonna max this out so what you do is try to more or less max this out a few times every day and especially before you you log out for the day before you go to sleep so that this um, continuously um, does its work while you're sleeping and more or less this is going to keep keep giving you a cycle of gears that you need and first that for, for gears that you don't need you can actually uh feel free to consume them in your enhancement okay guys so i hope this video helped you in terms of uh, in terms of enhancements okay guys so thank you for sticking this long in this video also consider subscribing while you're here also please click the bell icon so that you won't miss a counter side episode from the warden guys um and before i end before i forget please put down any comments below um on this video on gear crafting uh in terms of your experience in terms of other things that i might have missed and take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here